combustion reactions tend to be a chemistry student's favorite demonstration. But do you know you need three things for a proper combustion reaction? First and foremost, you need a fuel source, and your organic hydrocarbons make a great one. In fact, in the presence of oxygen gas and a spark, they're going to combust to produce carbon dioxide gas, CO2, water vapor, and heat, which means they're actually an exothermic reaction, one that produces lots of energy that can be harnessed to do things such as run a combustion engine or heat a home or even carve a pumpkin. Chemists tend to do things a little bit differently, including carving pumpkins. In fact, we're gonna use not one, but two chemical reactions to carve this jack-o'-lantern. The first chemical reaction, we're gonna take calcium carbide, a solid, and react it with liquid water to produce a little bit of acetylene gas. Let's add a little calcium carbide into water that's already sitting in our pumpkin. As soon as that solid calcium carbide hits the surface of that water, we start to see bubbling and hear lots of fizzing sounds, which is a really good indicator that lots of acetylene gas is being produced. Acetylene gas is a hydrocarbon with the formula C2H2. As it's being produced, it's gonna mix with a little bit of the oxygen gas that's in this pumpkin. So all we have to do is add the lid and provide a spark. On three. Hydrogen, helium, lithium. I hope you enjoyed this self-carving pumpkin. Happy Halloween.